Look at this. It's the 13th day of the month, and we have 13 horror comics released this week. What are the odds? Remember, this isn't a set of reviews, just a list of what you'll find when you hit the comic shops this week in Comics Horror, March 13th, 2024. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Let's check out This Week in Comics Horror, March 13th, 2024. First up is a trio of books from the big two companies in comics, Marvel and DC, who attempt to walk that fine line between mainstream and horror, which is no easy task. Looney Tunes number 277 from writer, artist Derek Friedolfs is an unconventional pick, but I included this comic in this week's horror poll as it features the truly creepy Count Blood Count. This character creeped the shit out of me as a kid, the way he turned into a bat, his nonplussed face, and the beatings he would get at the hands of Bugs Bunny. I'm definitely checking out this new issue of this long-running, kid-friendly series. The next one is not so kid-friendly. It's Alien, Black, White, and Blood, number two, from Marvel. This is a series that boils the Alien film down to its bare basics, telling a story colored in only black, white, and deep gory red. Also from Marvel is Ghost Rider Final Vengeance number 1 from Benjamin Percy and Danny Kim as the villainous Hood gains the power of the Ghost Rider and doles out his own ambiguously gray shade of justice. Sounds like a fun iteration on the classic horror character. Next up is a handful of indie horror comics proving outside of the mainstream is always the best place for comic book horror. First up is the fun take on B-movie monsters Skeeters, issue number four from Mad Cave Studios, Rob France, Kevin Cuff, and uber-talented artist Kelly Williams, who brings a grungy nastiness to this series about man-sized killer mosquitoes out to drain a small town of their blood supply. Mad Cave Studios also has A Legacy of Violence, number 11, from prolific writer Colin Bunn and the hardest-working artist in horror, Andrea Muti. This tale tells the story of horror through the generations following a lineage of serial killers. Image Comics delivers Joshua Williamson and Andre Bresson's Dark Ride No. 11, which follows macabre happenings in and around a haunted amusement park. Fishflies is a twisted take on a monster on the loose story that could only come from the twisted mind of Jeff Lemire. It involves a man on the run from the law who turns into a man-sized fly creature and befriends a little girl. This is an odd little title, and issue 5 is double-sized, so it's two times the morbid fun. I've sort of dipped out of House of Slaughter, as I feel it stretches the concept of something is killing the children a bit far for my tastes. Still, if you're a James Tinian IV fan, you're going to want to keep up with this collaboration with writer Tate Brombal, and artist Antonio Fuso. And if you can't get enough of Tinian, and who can't, Blue Book continues to be his best series by far. This second series, from Dark Horse Comics, checks out a number of sightings that occurred across the U.S. in, you guessed it, 1947. It's all brought to you by iconic artist Michael Avon Oming. Finally, let's check out some new number ones releasing this week. I'm always game to check out at least the first issue of these new series, so as not to miss out on a book that could turn into something special. Bristlemouth, A Cove Horror, number one, is from writer-artist Hayden Fryer and IPI Comics. It's a nuanced tale about a cancer survivor who is stalked by a monster. Floating World Comics, Keenan Marshall Keller, and Alex Delaney bring forth Vengeance is for the Living, number one a bloody tale of revenge as a woman wakes from a coma to find her family dead and her life ruined. Of course, she does what most would love to be able to do in this situation, 
go on a rage-fueled spree of violent vengeance. I'm always up for a good revenge story. Washed in Blood number one is new from Massive Publishing, Kevin Roditelli, Costas Pantulas, and Rob Cannon. This one looks to be a psychedelic whirlwind of a tale about an off-kilter god and the cultist who worships him in a post-apocalyptic setting. Trippy. And Master of Horror John Carpenter teams up with gaming company Saber Interactive and Focus Entertainment to bring forth Toxic Commando, Rise of the Sludge God Number 1. This one is written by Michael Morici from an idea by John Carpenter with art by Alberto Jimenez Albuquerque. And it lays the foundation for the new game in comic book form. This one's pretty much what the title tells you. A sludge god rises, and it's up to the toxic commando and his group of soldiers to take it on with guns, gore, and grit. Well, there's a Lucky 13 horror comics released this week. Show you there's something I listed here that you'll find worth your time and hard-earned money. Let me know which ones look good to you down in the comments. Stuck inside your reality Your doom Oh, your doom Your 